this week in CAA basketball. A spectacular day in St. Louis, Missouri. Spring is upon us and a championship series comes to Chaffetz Arena and game two in this best of three series in the CBI, VCU and St. Louis. That was actually shot pretty nice, so hit the front of the rim, fell through. Kick, Rizel, he's been dynamite for the Rams. The Rams can be patient on offense. They Normally like to get up in that up tempo, just kind of fast-paced game. Rodriguez underneath gets the bucket and a free throw. Oh, <laughs> never established. Brazil hits the three. It's their defense that'll create offense for them. So anything they get in sets are okay. Like that play. If you do that, I mean, there's a point where you got to quit shooting, but not, it's not right now. Skeen with an answer. Conklin could just get a hand on the air pass from Cassidy. Rizal! That was not true. Uh-oh, Cassidy lost it. There's a turnover and a finish for Sanders. Rizal with a step back three. Rodriguez. Got clock winding, has to hoist one, and hits it! Deadly! Skeen. Lays it in. Sanders, little high-low. Skeen. Back-to-back -back baskets for Jamie Skeen. Four-point lead. And joining the likes of Tulsa. And Oregon State are the VCU Rams, champions of the College Basketball Invitational in 2010. 71-65, the final. And ladies and gentlemen, the tournament's most valuable player is Joey Rodriguez from VCU. Congratulations. There is Shaka Smart, his first season as the head coach at VCU, ends with the CBI championship. 27 wins against just nine losses, and he'll have a talented cast returning next year. And it's good to see the young coach and his team who have played so well throughout this tournament. How does it feel? You're an MVP of the tournament, uh, but your team played very well. I mean, can you describe what's going on right now? Yeah, it feels really well, uh, good. Uh, you know, we showed a lot of resolve. We really struggled with that this year, so getting a win like this to end our year really helped us a lot. Okay, I know you don't want to talk about next year. You want to enjoy the moment right now, but, you know, there's been talk about Larry leaving, but you got a good team still coming back, even if Larry does leave. Yeah, you know, Larry's got a decision to make. Even if he does leave, uh, we're going to be really talented and really tough to deal with, and uh, hopefully we can make the NCAA tournament next year. All right, now what do you think about Coach Smart? Are you just happy as heck for this guy? His first year, he's 27-9 and nine overall. I mean, he's really a good coach, right? Yeah, he's an awesome coach, awesome person. I'm uh, so glad I came back to play for him. Uh, really can't wait for next year. And speaking of the devil right there, he is. So, Coach, how do you feel right now? feel great. Just really happy for our guys. We've had our struggles on the road all year, but they showed an unbelievable level of toughness and determination led by this guy. Yeah, now what'd you tell them at halftime? Ten turnovers. This team was uh, really struggling, and uh, what'd you tell them? They, they straightened up and came out and played very well. Well, I told them that's why there's two halves in basketball. And, you know, our guys came out. We made some shots. We got some stops. We really did a good job defending them down the stretch, and I couldn't be proud of our guys. It's a level of toughness, again, led by Joey, and I'm really excited about this team. Well, you got uh, a good player right here in Joey, and he's well-deserving of this uh, thing. The, the exhibition he put on the other night, and even tonight, the big shot right here in the corner with one second left. I mean, you expect that from him, right? Yeah, that was the shot of the game because it really shifted the momentum. They had a couple shot clock violations where they couldn't get shots off, but when the clock was winding down for us, Joey made a big play, but he's been doing that all year. That's why, you know, he's one of the best guards, really, not just in our league, but in the country. Uh, really, really excited for our guys.
Stay with CAASports.com for all of your stats, recaps, and highlights of this week's action in CAA basketball.